Hey, hello again. Okay, it's closer to 4 o'clock now, maybe. Uh, again, Super Bowl Sunday, which, big whoopee. Anyhow, I got some pulled pork bubbling away in the crock pot. And uh, figure I'd catch up on some stuff. Now, let's start off. This is the, sm uh, the small scale group build. Uh, I, however, started on it a month early because it was supposed to be started on <coughs> the 1st of February. I knew it ended February 29th, but I thought you could start at any time. So I actually got a jump start on everybody else with the... Uh, Funny car here, which hasn't progressed much since I last showed it to you. It kind of went in the box and, oh, I've been working on some other stuff. Okay, so now I got a little less than a, or more, I guess, depending on what day I start, of a month to finish this. So, I've got a head start on a few people. So, because of that, I mean, I'm still going to finish this one, no doubt. Uh, but I was in the hobby shop yesterday up the way from me a few miles and uh, I was in there and looking to see what else new he got and dun dun, dun 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 yeah he dropped it so I'm like you know <coughs> why don't I just add another one considering the months already what 10 days in I'm still going to do this one for the group build too so I'll have two for the group build. One that was already got a jump start, which is a little unfair, even for a short month. Even though I'm not working on it daily. But yeah, I picked up this. I figure, why not? It'll be just a fun little addition. And, you know, something I could throw together and throw some paint on it and build it. I mean, it's just very simple, no engine. And there's Deuce wedging himself into a paper bag that's a quarter of his size. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is good. Let me see. There we go. Deuce. Well, you got your head stuck in there. You know you can't fit in there, right? You do realize you are way bigger than that bag, right? Okay. People said they didn't see him in the last couple of vids, so hey, there's Deuce. There's my laundry I gotta take upstairs and put away. But <laughs> there's the goofball trying to fit into a bag that clearly he's not going to fit into. But anyhow, let's go back to the uh, table here. Granted, this ain't my work table, but it's just easier to, more roomy. But yeah, this is just a really basic, basic kit. You got your glass, you got your, you got your chrome. Um, now, I have that T-Bird that I destroyed the body on, and I still have it here for wheels and tires. I think it comes with some, uh, you know, see, these tires are white plastic. I got those black tires. I think they're even wide white walls, and it has two sets of wheels, so I may have a little bit of fun with this. And uh, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, 130 seconds, not my normal scale here, but it's, uh, yeah, it does come with a small set of decals. Ah, uh, they really like to vacuum stuff. But have some scallops and some stuff if you want to go with a, uh, shop truck type deal, or you want to go with a, you know, custom deal and have some scallops or something. Which I don't think I'd use any of these for that, but I think I'm just going to pretty much paint it up as is, you know, get some of the parting lines out of it and come on, focus a little better there. There you go. But yeah, it'll be a nice quick build, so I'll have two in the uh, group build for the 130 second scale thing, the small scale. Yeah, I don't think I'll use their hard plastic tires since I have the extras lying around so yeah so now I have an addition to the small scale group build 
If only I had a trailer in one thirty-second scale, I could attach it to the Ranchero and have it uh, pulling the funny car. Uh, well, this ain't the one we want. A little more on the olds, not much. I did get the uh, floor flat blacked. I'm going to have to, not flat black, but flat green. I'm going to have to scuff that. That's like a hair or a plastic hair. Because I tried getting that out of there and it just keeps coming back. I'm like, what the hell? So I may have to scuff that real quick and put a couple more coats on there. It's really weird. It's like, because I picked the hair out of there, what looked like a hair, and I hit the paint on it and it showed back up. So I don't know if it was something oily or a piece of fine plastic hair, like a flash from the plastic that got stuck in there. And so I got just, you know, mat, I just fogged out real quick. I mean, you're not going to see much because the seat comes up to here anyhow. It's going to be sitting in there. But yeah, I think that's about all I did on that. Oh, maybe not. I added a little bit to the chassis. Made that front splash pan body color under there. Make it look like it's, you know... But I got the chassis and I semi-glossed it a little bit. So it's going to have a mix of gloss and flat and some green under here when it's all done. But it really, when you get on that chassis pan, of course the tank will be painted a silver steel color. But ah, I don't think it looks too bad. But I wanted to update that. And then I had uh, a slight tragedy today. But I'm going to run with it. Come on in with me. Let's go in the model room real quick here. You all know that I, I'm working on that one. The funny car. And I went with the factory duster looking graphics. Well, they're gone. I masked it carefully. I even took the masking tape. And I put it on my table a few times to lighten the adhesive. And I masked the bumpers off to give them some silver. And I did. And it took off, even though I wrapped most of the body in plastic, right up where the you know front edges were, uh, the tape touched. But I had like weakened the tape's adhesive a little bit. I didn't want it super tacky. However, it was tacky enough to take them off. And it only, even though it touched other points, it didn't touch any decal but the stripe. The, the twister stripe that goes down the side, and it took off the hood decal. So, rather than strip it and start over, um, I just re-cleared it. And I re-cleared it with the pearl clear. You can see all the metallic in it, the sparkles. So, it'll get wet, sanded, and rubbed out once that gets good and dry. I'll give that a, you know, a week or so. Uh, but, yeah... For some reason, it only affected those decals. Those are the slicks decals. Even though that, that 854 didn't get touched, everything else did. That was a slicks brand. But the clear did wrinkle uh, those decals. So maybe they didn't stick as well. Because I've done this before. I've cleared the hell out of a model, taped it off, and painted something else, and it never touched the decals. In fact, the decals wouldn't come off if you wanted them to. So, I don't know. For some reason, maybe because they were older decals. They were good four or five years. So, but all the other decals stayed nicely. It still looks cool. I'm still happy with it. Um, you know, I could always order another set and either add the decals or do a whole other car. Which I'd probably just do a whole other car with the Mopar theme. So... That's where that stays. Hold on a second. We're going to get ugly here for a second. Yeah, that's one of my decal props. A pair of vice grips <laughs> wedged in between some model bodies. That'll hold it where it belongs. Oh, and there's my, uh, I think I showed you guys this. And there's my little photo booth. It's nice. It's a 12 by 16 model. Um, I think I would go bigger. I may even order a bit. This was on sale. Uh... I can't remember who I saw. Um, one of my people I'm subscribed to had one too, the same one. And it looked pretty good for him. Yeah, this is that Glendon. 
which it's nice it really is but it could be bigger the problem is see right now i'm pretty close in to see a model but these corners show now if i come back further and i zoom see i can get rid of the corners and just show the model the only problem with that is when you zoom with a camera then it's much more prone to movement the closer in See, I'm far out in there now. I'm moving the camera. Yeah, it's wiggling, but not as much. Now, let me zoom into something. You know, the tighter you're zoomed in, the more sensitive it is to movement. So, yeah, um, I may go the bigger one. That one was on sale, actually. So, I bought it because it was on sale and all that. It works, but if I ever build a bigger model, like a semi-tractor, well, it's not going to work. And uh, let me see, did I do anything else to this besides screw up the decals? No, I think it's the same place I showed it to you last. Yeah, it is. The wheels, the tires, and all that. It's the same point. The wheels are just sitting on here because I got to put the inner wheel on there yet. I got to scuff the tires and all that. So yeah, the uh, duster hasn't progressed that much. But... It'll be fine. And what else did I pick up? Oh, I was in the hobby shop yesterday, too, and I picked up uh, some more Timia spray cans. I picked up Rubber Black, since I got some of those, uh, whatchamacallums, uh, resin 3D printed, printed tires in that gray resin. Uh, I, got, I got this Rubber Black to paint them. And then I got the Coral Blue, which is basically a turquoise, like a 50s turquoise color. And I got, what's this? More gunmetal. Which is really, these lids don't do it justice. Let's do this. Yeah. Even then, with the plastic over the lid, and the lid doesn't do this color justice. It's, it's a lot nicer than that. So I got that. And then I got what everybody else has got. Tom at Boardman Hobby called me. Well, he told me on the weekend, last weekend, he goes, hey, they'll be in Tuesday for sure. So, on my lunch hour, I ran down there, and he had like, oh, a stack of them, you know, and they're going fast. I mean, there was like three guys, four guys in the shop all had at least one of these in their hand. Some guys had two. So, yeah, they're going quick. Uh, the hobby shop I was at yesterday, the other one up in Warren, where I got the Falcon, he had had them. They're already gone. So... I did get one for now. Uh, it looks nice. I can see where they made a lot of changes. Uh, let's kill this light. I guess, I, you know, there's some detail up here in the core support. They added, uh, I think, the fender wells. Even the inner fenders look better. Granted, you know, the drive shaft's molded in. Uh, there's somebody online that said, oh, that's, I don't want that kit. It's a curbside. No, it's not a curbside. It's a full detail kit. I hear the engine is out of scale, but honestly, they based this off the old dusters, not the newer duster from the 90s. And uh, the engine on those things was always kind of tiny, I thought. But uh, who knows? It still looks good. I want to do at least one of these. A good friend of mine, I met him back in 80, early 84. There was a small hobby shop that I used to go to that closed up now decades ago. And, uh, yeah, I was in there and I was talking to some guy and he was telling about contests and stuff. So we became friends, me and Daryl, Daryl Downing. Um, yeah, he had about 10 years on me and, uh, he was in the building models big time and well, we became good friends and hung out and built models together and went to shows together and hung out, you know, went to car shows and, Stuff like that, and Daryl's passed on. He passed on about five years ago, cancer. We had kind of gotten separated because he got out of model building till he went through a lot in his life at one time. And I think I told you before, I bought his whole collection, and I regret selling all that stuff as cheap as I did. I never knew it'd be <laughs> go up as much as it has, but of course, a lot of it was reissued anyhow, so I guess it would have lost some of its value. But he had a demon kit. I had one of the original 71 demon kits. His technically was a 72. 
Um, so it has a slightly different grill than a 72. A 72 doesn't have this bar in the middle, and it's slightly different lines. And uh, So anyhow, I want to get a see if anybody makes a nice resin grill for it to convert it. However, before I had met Daryl, he had told me the story of the one he had, which was uh, a baby blue color with the stripes and everything, the 340. And uh, he had had to sold it because he was married and had children or a child. And uh, he always wanted another one. And he always wanted to build that model before he sold it to me. Uh, the way he would have had it, you know, the same color, the baby blue and you know, Kragers and some wider tires and pretty much stock. Uh, then he had another one not long uh, before he died, and I still saw him. I went out to his house. He had a demon in there that he had already had somebody start tubbing it. He wanted to make something like a Pro Street version, and it was going to be a tribute to the greats of uh, Mopar Pro Stock. You know, Ronnie Sox and all that. And I don't know all the other guys, but the Mopar Missile and all them... His idea was to have it painted up. It would be like a street strip car. And back here on the quarter, he was going to have somebody, you know, hand paint, remember the Titans. And it would be a list of all the great pro stock drivers that, you know, ran the Demons and the Dusters and the Mopars and all that. So I at least want to do the baby blue version and do it a lot like his car. I heard the only real difference is between 71 and 72, besides the grill, here comes Deuce, everybody, is the marker lights, uh, the bezels changed year to year, but that's not a big deal. Other than that, yeah, I always thought his was a 71, but when he when I looked up the colors on these, that baby blue wasn't available in 71, so his was the 72. Same basic car, but I want to do my little tribute to my buddy Daryl. May he rest in peace. Um, but that's it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool kit. I mean, I can see they changed a lot of things. I mean, these slicks aren't even that big. It's really a, you know, small car, but it's got different, you know, different wheels. These Krager looking things are kind of flat. They're not the best looking wheels, but oh, well, I can get better wheels and tires than that for it. I do like that they made the reverse lights and the tail lights separate. You know, because before it was red all the way across there, and you had to paint the two inner ones white. Well, now they made those clear. So you back it with some bare metal or some chrome paint, and it's going to look a lot better. So I can see they changed some things. I think it's a good looking kit. I like the grill. Got separate headlights now. It's It's not chrome, which on the real car it wasn't. It was just that argent plastic silver and some black so that's nice it changed a lot of little things let me see where's that grill there it is oh that's the dust that's a dash dummy there's the grill yeah see there's the grill uh, i think it's competition resins and they still haven't responded to me i may call them or email them again deuce get out of there deuce uh they make a 72 a whole kit and uh, I'd really like to get just the grill separately. I'm hoping with the advent of this kit being released that they're going to start pumping out the 72 grill alone, or somebody will. But that's it. But yeah, I added that to my stash as if I needed to add more. Deuce. Come on, get out of there. Deuce. Quit being a demon, would you? Ha, huh, demon, see? But... Yeah, that's it. Just want to show you a little stash update and all that. And, uh... Oh. Okay, dude. Say hi to everybody. You evil, evil kitty. Yes, yeah, this is my buddy. Hi, Deuce. Oh, I left the hood out. Deuce likes to help, as you can see. He's, he's my shop assistant slash foreman supervisor whatever you want to call him ah everything has to have your approval <coughs> no but okay well hey i'm gonna go <coughs> excuse me go have go chill out for a while and watch some more youtube videos and uh 
<coughs> relax before another work week starts. So from me and Deuce and uh, Penny's asleep. Hey, no. go say hi to Penny. She's in the living room. This is her. Oh, she's knocked Stewie on the floor. Stewie doesn't look happy. But there's Penny. Hi, uh, Pen Pen. Yeah, this is Penny. She doesn't get on camera all that often, does she? Hmm? No. Penny's kind of quiet and shy. She's a good kitty, though. Here. I'll put Deuce, I mean, Stewie back up there so you can hide behind him. She likes to hide from the other cats. For some reason, they pick on her. Now, she's the oldest. She's going to be 10 years old this spring. And, uh... She gets picked on by this one and by Mitzi, which was on her cat tree here. And I don't know where Mitzi is right now. Let me see. Mitzi! Oh, I hear her. Mitzi! <gasps> well, meow, meow. Well, come on. Come say hi. Come say hi. Really? You going to say hi to the people? Say hello. Okay. Can you show us the belly? Show everybody your belly. Mitzi. What? You're not going to show us the belly? Go ahead. Come on. Show us that big belly. <gasps> Come on. Where is it? Where's that big fat belly? There it is. Oh, my meow. I uh, know. Okay. Well, from me and the crew here at Joe's Rush Shop, everybody have a good afternoon. What time is it? Yeah, it's only 4.08. So... Yeah, enjoy your Super Bowl if that's your thing. If not, enjoy your time at, with the family or enjoy your time at the bench. Because that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to come back in here and i got to put my photo booth away. Because otherwise the cats will go in there and stay. And i got to put my Corvette, my Sodak Corvette for the naked build. i got to put that in the cabinet. And uh, that's about it. So... I'm going to get back to my YouTube viewing, which is my favorite channel, honestly. I watch the hell out of YouTube more than anything. So, talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Like, comment. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.